Hi everybody, Larry Graves here. You might notice a different view. I thought I would change it up for a, for a change. Uh, I thought I would start reviewing albums on their own, like instead of in a discography kind of a review. So I'll do more Queen album reviews in the future, but for now I'm just doing one, and then I'll move on to some other band. Maybe you can re do a request in the comment section below. But I would love your opinion on Queen's final album with Freddie Mercury while he was alive, of course, Innuendo. I think it is probably my favorite Queen album. But I don't love every track. The first track, Innuendo, uh, with a special guest appearance by Steve Howe from Yes. And of course the cats start playing now that I'm doing a video. Stop playing! Hi there. I love it. Uh, I wanted to mention Freddie Mercury's vocals on this entire album I think are his best vocals ever. Uh, he's really putting his heart and soul into the tracks. And innu innu innuendo, hard to say, Innuendo is a fantastic track. It's one of my all-time favorite Queen songs. Uh, nothing negative I can, I can say about it. I love the production, uh, the music, everything about it. Uh, 10 out of 10. I'm going slightly mad. Now, these songs that had videos with them, sometimes the video kind of takes away from the song in a way, but I think all of the videos that were made for the songs on Innuendo make the, the songs even better because you kind of look, kind of remember seeing the video and that, I don't know. I'm Going Slightly Mad is another 10. I love the, the humor in it. Uh, everything about it. Headlong. I used to just think it was kind of a uh, average rock track, but lately, yeah, it's a 10. Uh, I love the energy in the track and, of course, Freddie's vocals again. No complaints. Uh-oh, I'm gonna <clears throat> complain with this next track. I Can't Live With You. The thing I don't care for about it is the chorus. It's a little bit, to me, a little annoying. But once again, uh, Freddie Mercury's vocals are fantastic. Uh, I'll give it a an 8 out of 10. It's not one of my favorites on the album. Don't try so hard. <clears throat> I guess the one thing that sometimes has bugged me about Queen is, I mean, their productions are fantastic, but sometimes it's a bit too much, and or the, there's too many layered vocals sometimes, and it gets kind of annoying to me. But this one is a subtle, nice track with gorgeous vocals by, by Freddie. Uh, it's a 10 out of 10. This is, I feel, the most underrated Queen song of all time. Ride the Wild Wind. In fact, it, it's possibly my very favorite song on the album. I love the production. The production this time is, yes, over the top and maybe, maybe a bit too overproduced, but for this song, it, it works. It really does work. Uh, a 10 out of 10. All God's People. This is one track I've never liked, but I was listening to it today and I kind of liked it a bit more. Uh, but it's not one of my favorites on the album. I'd give it a, a 7 out of 10. These are the days of our lives. What can you say? Uh, it's a 10 out of 10, and of course the video for it is really touching also. Delilah. Now this is a, a song that some Queen fans don't like or they hate. 
I have cats, and he's singing about his cats, so I can kind of relate to it. And plus, I think it's a, a very good song. It's catchy and cute and whatever else. I like it. It's a... I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because, damn it, I like it. A lot. <clears throat> the Hitman is similar to Headlong, except... I don't know. There's something about it that it's a bit too forced of a rock song or something. So it's never been a favorite of mine. Uh, <clears throat> but I gotta also mention throughout the album Brian May and his guitar work. But The Hitman is good, but it's not a favorite of mine. I'd give it a, a 7 out of 10. Now, I don't even know how to pronounce this, so I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. Baiju. This is the one track... I was listening to this album today, and I was thinking, I don't even remember this track. And it's kind of like a faceless track to me. But, when I played it today, it was, it was a nice track. I, I really did enjoy it. Not a favorite, though. But uh, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And The Show Must Go On, one of the Queen classics, and of course the video for it, a 10 out of 10. So that's my thoughts on Queen's Innuendo. And I would love your thoughts on each of the songs on this album. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.